Hi, I'm Lois Vogel Sharp. Today's August 16th, 2024. And I got this at 1208 this morning. We thank you for your words. This is from Jesus. We thank you for your words, Lord. We thank you for your encouragement. We thank you for constantly being with us and everything we go through. And we rebuke the evil going on in the name of Jesus, Yeshua. Are you waiting for an answer to your prayers? Look up those heavenly stairs and be not scared. There's nothing compared to faith that can move a mountain. Stop your doubting and trust in Father today. He will never delay, but will always be perfect in his timing. See how he's even rhyming. It's time to trust in his wisdom, not all the earthly schisms that keep you sidetracked from having the faith. It's the word of God that's the proof. Evil is always out to sway your thinking. He is sinking, for life in America will once again be free, even with this fallen economy. It's her destiny for all Americans to be free and to worship without censorship. We must get rid of all the controlling of the media. It's Wikipedia, and it must be stopped with all of evil's plot props to confuse and make you refuse to see what is right and what is wrong. It's all part of evil's song to get you to sing along and be part of evil's storm to steal, to kill and destroy. <clears throat> it's all the devil's ploy. So keep your eyes on heaven and believe for the best and father will do the rest. Love, Yeshua. Well, I love the ending. What is he telling us there? Pray, believe, and know that his timing is always perfect. Even when you're waiting for a result of a prayer, he has his reasons for waiting. He has his timing for everything. And everything will play out the way it's meant to play out. And he will receive the ultimate glory. We know we're in a world where evil is doing its thing right now, and there's a lot going on, even in America, and all the other countries, those that watch me from other countries, you have your issues. There will be countries that are following Antichrist. That's not going to change, folks. There will be countries rising up with Antichrist. That's what America is trying to do now. They're trying to pull us all into a one-world government. That can never be done. Countries will do it. But it can't be done the right way because communism does just doesn't work. It can't work in a society of people that want to try to better themselves and be somebody. You see, they're trying to say that those that have nothing deserve to have everything, which, yeah, we all deserve to have everything. Absolutely. And a reality of a perfect world. But somebody that strived and worked hard and went to college and is now successful in making money, you can't knock them for it. And that's what they do. They knock them down and make them like they're the evil person because they've achieved a goal. And the poor person that's poor and has nothing and never had that opportunity. It's not the rich person's fault. And you can't force them to give either. That's what they want to do. They want to rob you. And give it to whoever they want. You can't do that. It has to be. It has to come from the heart. Even God says it in the word. It comes from the heart. That's why you can't force people to tithe. That's why I don't talk about money. Because I can't force you to give anything. If you don't want to give, you're not going to give. Oh, I could plead and say, oh, please help us. We're struggling to build a safe haven. And I could go into that whole thing. And it would be true. Because we are struggling to move up forward. People don't like to give. It's the way it is. But that result, the ministry suffer because of it. And God will deal with his people. He will teach us and show us the truth. It's all about the truth. And the Holy Spirit leads us to all truth. We have to pray for one another. We have to be behind each other. We can't be knocking each other down. It's one mind and one accord in the Lord. And it's coming against evil with the power in the name of Jesus, Yeshua. That's what it's all about. That's what the church 
of Jesus is all about. And they did live in communities in one mind and one accord. They actually, actually did that. In the book of Acts, go read it. They sold their land. They sold their houses. They sold all these things so they could all be together. And that's kind of what safe, some of the safe havens are going to be that way. Some of them, you buy your own land, you buy your own house, and you have your little plot of land. And there'll be other Christians around. But that's not the kind we have. Ours is going to be, everybody comes as our guest. Whoever wants to come can come. Who doesn't want to come doesn't have to come. There's no price on it. But we all participate in making it function. Some will be in charge of the gardens. Some will be in charge of the preaching, like me and Gary. Others will be in charge of the animals. I just spent days, okay, cutting peaches with, with the brother that lives a couple hours up from us that uh, was at the conferences that we're good friends with. And Gary, too. Obviously, he was doing videos and other stuff that had to get done. But we're cutting peaches, cutting peaches, and canning them. Now I got a zillion apples to deal with. That's what we're going to be doing. So we'll have people doing all of these things. All of that takes my time away from getting messages out. What does God think? I have to still get that done. It all is time-consuming. And when you have a community... When we get it built and we can have people actually come live here, we will be able to do all that. And it won't all fall on me and Gary and a few that we have that can help us at this point in time. We're not ready for people to come live here. We're making moves on starting to build a house. The Lord said to me, you need to occupy the land. So we're making moves now to get a house started. It's in the works. So keep it in prayer and any contributions that people want to give to keeping things forward, to building the cabins and all we have to do, we always welcome it. And the Lord always appreciates it because it's not my, my work, it's his work. And we're just servants doing this for him. And nothing, nothing on this land is owned by me and Gary, just so you know that. The ministry owns it. We're just those that are the stewards which we're called to be the stewards of the day, to give out meat at the proper time. So that's what these places are all about. So keep on going. Make sure you pray. Make sure you rebuke in Jesus' name. And make sure you get out and vote. They are so messed up on the other side. So messed up. We cannot get them in. Christians, please. You Democrats that think that they're okay because they're Democrats, you must search out and find out what this man, Waltz, has done and what she has done, what they're still doing. I heard they had people sitting outside during the coronavirus on their own porches. And he told the people to rat each other out if they find somebody outside. They wouldn't even let them sit on their own porches. Are you kidding me? That's communism, folks. That's not freedom. That's do what we tell you to do or you're going to get arrested. And what they tell you to do is insanity. You see, it's insanity. It's demonic demons of insanity, reprobate minds. The Lord says they will be here in the end times. <laughs> Seeking habit, looking to destroy us. We have to stand up and fight it. Fight the good fight of faith through prayer, through rebuking, and through doing what we have to do, which is to build your churches. Make sure you build your churches. Make sure the church house that you go to has a roof, can help the needy. That's what we're going to be doing in these end times. That's what we do. We help feed people. But everybody must be involved in it for it to happen. Safe havens aren't going to get built if the people just back up and don't do it. It's a beautiful thought to just live in a community together. Even if nothing was to happen, it's still a beautiful place. It's going to be a beautiful place. God says it. Go read Isaiah 26, 20 through 21 and keep on reading after the fact. 
you'll see, go behind closed doors for a little while while my indignation pours out on the earth. It's something he's telling us to do. Well, we're doing it. So keep on going. Keep on loving one another. And make sure you get involved in the voting process and get out and vote. So I'll be back when he sends me back again. Gary and I love you very much. And have a blessed day.